Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about makeup, beauty and skincare. Now today is a little bit different. I am going to be showing you a tutorial, but it's not on myself. I've decided to work on a model today, which I just thought I'd change it up a little bit and see what you guys think. I'm going to be showing you how to create a glam makeup look for beginners. I think you're going to love it. And I really do want to know if you want me to work on models a little bit more just to mix it up a little bit. So please do let me know in the comments box below. As always, if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And you can catch me on Instagram where you can watch my stories for some daily beauty news, loads of PR unboxing, by the way, and also just a little bit of what I get up to when I'm not filming for YouTube. So let's head straight into the video. So first thing I'm going to use is the Wind Medina Dew Moisturizer and this is just going to help to just moisturize our skin but I also love the fact that it gives a really tacky finish to the skin. It just leaves this really nice finish where you can apply your foundation really easily on top. So this is something that I personally would recommend to everyone. I feel like it's a moisturizer that you can use on any skin type, which is why it works great in my kit because that way I don't, I may not know what the skin type will be of a client, but I know that this product is gonna work well. Next, I'm gonna use an eye cream. I'm using the Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. I just personally, think this is great if you have kind of puffiness or you've just not had enough sleep and it's a cooling tip so it actually does feel pretty cool on the skin. So now I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger and I've actually just applied a small amount over the eyelids with my Beauty Blender. So my Beauty Blender is damp by the way and when I say damp I mean that I have wet it completely and then I've squeezed out all of the excess water and then wrapped a tissue around it so that it absorbs all of the excess water. And you can probably see now, this has given her a really nice kind of even finish on the eyes. So this is just my way of kind of setting the base for whatever eye color that I'm gonna use. Rather than using a primer, I much prefer using concealer, which is kind of, which, you know, set it with powder so that it just stays in place. And then I can move on with my eye look. Okay, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder in Light Banana. And you can use any brush that you feel is gonna kind of like fit into the eye area well. This one is a Makeup Forever one. And I'll list the actual brush on the screen because I think I've accidentally kind of like rubbed it off with using this brush so much. Now I'm using my Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette and the shade that I'm using is on the screen literally could not pronounce this so i thought i'll just put it up on the screen i'm using my fenty beauty 210 blending brush and i'm applying the product kind of into the socket but i am kind of like blending it into the lid as well so i don't want to create an obvious kind of round arch or semicircle here i want it to kind of blend into the lid So when I'm blending this in, as you can see, I'm kind of pressing it into the lid. And I'm also going side to side just along this area here. And when I get to the end, I'm kind of dragging it down into the lid area. Now I'm using the shade Soil from the same palette and I'm just creating a kind of like almost an eyeliner look, but I'm not too fussed about how neat it is because I'm gonna blend the edges. So I'm going super, super thin as I get close into the inner corner. And then you can see it's getting thicker and thicker. And also I want more of a lifted look. So I'm kind of lifting it at the end, but I don't want an obvious curve in there. So I'm leaving it at the end of the lash line. I'm not taking it any further out. I'm gonna switch my brush over to another brush which has nothing on there. And now I'm dragging that product into the lash line. And this helps to kind of like buff the color in so that you can't see an obvious line. And you'll see that when she opens her eyes, it just gives a really nice, soft, kind of smoky lash line. The way I'm buffing this in is I'm kind of like dabbing, I'm pressing constantly. And then when I get to the end, I'm dragging inwards. I'm gonna do the same on this side. So like I said, make it slightly thicker, and then you're gonna make it thinner as we go in 
and you can see it's getting thinner and thinner and you're just pressing it. Now we're switching over to this brush and we're gonna start really buffing that in, keeping the shape the same, but all we wanna do is make sure that the edges are nicely buffed. Now I'm using the Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette and I'm applying this with my finger because these specific shades within the Natasha Denona palettes are much better when you apply it with your finger. How amazing is this color? It's, I really do, I've got a thing about olive green eyes at the moment. So yeah, I'm pressing that onto the lid. I'm not really going into the socket line because I wanna kind of manipulate the shape of it with my brush afterwards. Firstly, I just wanna really get that color packed on so the pigment is really visible and you can see it quite clearly because as soon as I start blending the edges, the pigment will start to reduce. Now this brush that I'm using doesn't have anything on it. I'm just kind of like dragging this color into the socket line because I actually do want it to go a little bit further up, but I didn't want to use my finger for that because it would just look a little bit too patchy. So you can see I'm really spreading this color out. I'm not really afraid to go into the brow area because the model has a smaller space around the eyes. I can quite easily take it up and it isn't gonna look odd. It's She's kind of got the perfect eye shape for this type of eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this side and I'm just pressing it in. I'm not really going over that area that we applied the brown because I don't want it to cover it too much. Although we are gonna go back and apply some more of that brown just to kind of give it some more depth because some of it will kind of be hidden with this olive eyeshadow that we're using. Same thing, let's take this eyeshadow right up into the brow area. Now I'm gonna go back in with that brown that we used. It's a really kind of, it's called soil, I think, and it really does genuinely look like soil, the color. So it's a really nice kind of deep brown. And I'm gonna just apply this back onto the area where we initially applied it. And I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit because with that really kind of strong sheen from the olive, I, I just want to separate it a little bit so it doesn't all look like one lock finish of sheen. So I want to just break it up a bit. And that's why I'm making this bit a bit thicker. And I'm really kind of taking this area out because I want that really nice lifted look. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm using the shade Attic from the Mini Star Palette and I'm just applying a very small amount just below the brow here. What this is doing, it's a matte shade, but it's actually helping to kind of just bring down some of that shimmer from that olive shade. And I'm just literally going side to side, literally right under the brow. And all that's doing is just disconnecting it a little bit. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Mascara and I will be applying some lashes. I'm using my own brand lashes and I'm using the Lash Ella and I'm just gonna apply this super close to the lash line. Now that the lashes are dry, I'm gonna use a black. So I'm using the Fashionista shade from the Tartlet palette. And I'm going super, super close to the lash line because I wanna kind of just have a little bit more depth there. Then I'm gonna go in with my other brush, the one that I was blending with earlier, and I'm just gonna buff that in very naturally. Like, I don't want it to look too dark there. Now I'm gonna use the Radiant Creamy Concealer, the same one that I used earlier, and I'm gonna apply this just to the inner corners first. I'm gonna apply this to a few other areas because the model's face is a little bit lighter than the rest of her body. We're gonna warm her up a little bit and give her a really nice kind of bronzed look, but I just wanna highlight certain areas first, give her that more lifted look. I'm gonna start buffing this in with my beauty blender. So I don't really wanna change the shape of everywhere I've applied this, but I do wanna kinda of just spread it out slightly so that it's not just all condensed in that one area.
this area here I'm buffing in and I'm kind of keeping it in the same place. So I don't want to spread it out too much, but I do want to give that really nice flawless finish on the under eye area. And this area here where I've applied it slightly lifted, in turn, as you'll see, it's going to end up giving her a really nice lifted look. Now I'm using a darker shade in the NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm going to basically take this just along here. Um, you can see I've applied the smallest amount here, it's not actually a lot. And I'm going to take it on the other side too. Now I'm just shaping her jawline because I want a little bit more of a stronger jawline. So I've just taken it actually just on the jawline as opposed to below because I want to create a bit more of a dramatic defined jawline there. She's got perfect lips as it is, so I'm not really going to make her lips look any bigger. Now I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush and I'm taking the larger side of it and I'm just buffing this dark shade in. You can see how this has given her really nice definition along the cheekbone. We are going to go over with foundation. However, I do want this to kind of like almost peek through the foundation slightly. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm just pressing it continuously in the same area, going from the top to the bottom. I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm just buffing this into the face with my Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is damp, exactly how I mentioned earlier, where you've got to kind of like squeeze out all the water. I'm just buffing this into the skin, so I'm taking it on the under eye area and I'm just going to go it over everywhere on the face, making sure that I'm just kind of almost binding everything together, those concealers that I applied before with the foundation. And it's quite a thin layer of foundation, so with all of that con contouring that we did, I still want it to kind of like come through and have some kind of effect. I don't want it to just be fully covered. Now I'm just getting rid of any lines that there may be on the under eye area. I'm gonna use my same setting powder that I used on the eyelids. I don't actually want to kind of bake the area because I feel like it's gonna be just too much and I want more of a kind of luminous finish to the skin. I just want certain areas to be mattified and then the key areas to be highlighted and kind of like almost glowing. I'm just pressing the powder in with a bigger brush now, just on the rest of the face, but a very, very small amount of the powder. I'm not actually applying a lot. I probably applied a little bit more on the under eye area. Now I'm going to do the brows. I always like doing the brows kind of like once the base is done because it gives me a good idea of how I can frame the face. And she's got amazing fluffy brows, so I'm really going to stick with that and just fill in certain areas. I'm using the Brow Wiz in medium brown and I'm literally just going to kind of draw in some hairs. Now I'm going to fix her brows in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and I love this product because it genuinely just keeps the brows in place and you get that really nice laminated finish. I'm using the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette again, look up for me. And I am just applying this to the lower lash line, kind of going side to side because I want that really nice kind of slightly smoky under eye, but without it looking like there's too much of a dark shade there. I don't want to darken the eye area. I want to really kind of just enhance it. So I'm applying it quite thick because I feel like with her eye shape and her under eye area, you can really get away with a bit more color on the under eye. I'm going to go back in with the shade Soil and I'm going really, really close to the lash line. And then I'm going to kind of buff it all together because I want that slight gradient effect on the lower lashes. Then I'm going to go back in with the other brush and that's where I'm just going to blend it all together so that it just doesn't look so disconnected. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm just going to really take that brown into the lower lashes take it out here as well because then we can connect everything. I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of mascara, just applying this to the lower lashes. Now I'm going in with my Dolce & Gabbana Solar Glow Bronzer in Amber and I'm just going to apply this to the perimeter of the face but also just into her cheekbone area to just give her some definition but also really warm up her face. And you can see I'm pressing it into the skin. So I'm just, I'm not dragging it. I'm literally just starting from the perimeter of the face 
and then just pressing it into the inner part, the center of the face. We don't actually need a special contour powder for this because of the nice bronze look that we're going for. So I'm just applying the same bronzer with a different brush on the sides of the bridge of the nose. So you can see I'm going up into the brow area there. I'm using the Hourglass Lighting Edit Palette in Universe Unlocked and I absolutely love this palette because the highlighter is like this golden color. So it's not white, it's not too pink. It's great if you want more of a bronze look and as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning on the skin. Now I'm gonna use the NARS Lip Liner. It's a really nice kind of brown shade and I'm just gonna line the lips, sticking to her natural lip line. I'm actually using a mix of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in Cover Star and Catwalking and just mixing them both together and then applying that with a lip brush all along the lips. I'm really taking it over the lip line because I want that brown to kind of really blend in. I'm just finishing with the Hourglass Liquid Lipstick. It's the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Hint. I just like finishing some lip shades with this because I just feel like it just completes it. It gives a really nice nude shade all over. As you can see, this is the finished look and I love the way that you can really see the olive coming through on the eyes. And it's just a really nice kind of glam evening look that I think anyone can wear. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And like I mentioned, it was a little bit different for me because I was working on a model, but I really enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more videos of me working on models, then let me know in the comments box below. If you're subscribed to this channel, then you already know that I always reply to your comments, to every single one of them, because it means so much to me. I love your feedback and I really do take it on board and try and make those changes to give you exactly what you wanna see. Now, all the products that I used are listed in the description box, but if you see that some of those links don't have that exact same product, it's because I couldn't find that product. So I've gone out and tried to find the closest product I possibly could that I would recommend. Now, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.